Okay then gang, so now we've got the back end up and running and we know how to fetch data from it using the Strapi REST API endpoints. Now we want to start work on the front end of the website, the React application. So navigate to our project directory, which I called Ninja Refuse. Remember, this is the folder that we installed the back end into. So that's inside this folder. And now we're going to create a React project in here as well. So to do that, we'll use npx, npx create, hyphen react, hyphen app, give it a name. Oops, you need to spell react right as well. Give it a name. I'm going to call it front end like so, but you can call it what you want. But I'm calling it front end so that we have the front end and the back end folders inside this project directory. All right, so now that's done. Let's CD into that front end folder. And then I want to open this up in VS Code. So let's say code space full stop and press enter and hopefully that's going to open up in vs code there we go so this is our starter project so there's a few things i want to clean up first of all so let's open the source and i'm going to get rid of app.css because we're going to put all of our css inside the index file right here i'm also going to get rid of the test file we're not going to use that and the logo we don't need this and these two files at the bottom we don't need as well so let's get rid of those now inside index.js we're going to get rid of this import because we deleted that file and also this at the bottom and save that then inside app.js we're going to get rid of these imports at the top as well because we don't need those that was the logo and the app.css then i'm going to get rid of everything inside the div with a class name of app but i will keep this div right here all right, so next I'm going to create two folders inside the source folder. One is going to be called components, and that's for any drop-in layout components like the navbar or header. And then the next one is going to be pages, and this is going to be for page components in our application. So we're going to have three page components. We're going to have one for the home page where we list all the reviews. We're going to have one for review details, which is where we go when we click on one of those reviews. And then also when we start to work with relational data, we're going to have a category page as well. So that when we click on a category, it shows all the reviews for that category on that page. So let's create these new file and we'll start with homepage.js. And I'm going to use a snippet RFC to make a React functional component. Press tab and it generates that. And the reason I can do that is because I have a package which is this one right here, which gives me access to a load of snippets. So just search for this package and install it if you want to do that as well. All right, so let's go back, get rid of this. That's the home page. Inside here, we'll just say home page, bit of text. Next up, we'll do the review details, review details.js, like so. And then inside here, again, React functional component tab. And then inside the template, review details need the d over there all right save this and then finally let's do the category so category.js and then same again this is called category and we'll say category down here in the template awesome so that's the three pages done we also now want to create a component which is going to be for some kind of header and i'm going to call this site header so site header and this site header is going to go at the top of every page so i'm actually just going to paste in this component right here and then i'll paste in the import at the top as well okay so it's called site header and inside here we have a div with a class name of site header and this link right here we need to import as well this is linking to the home page now we've not set up the router yet but we will do in a minute and we need to import link from a package called React Router DOM. Now we've not installed this yet, so let's install it. I'm going to save this, then open up a terminal, and I'll say npm install React Router hyphen DOM, so that we can use this link, and also so we can set up routes inside the root app component. All right then, so now that's installed, we can start to use the React Router to set up routes for these three different pages. So let's do that inside the app component right here, the root component. And also inside this root component, we can import and nest the site header so that that's on the top of every page as well. 
All right, and by the way, if any of this goes over your head and you're struggling with the React side of things, definitely check out that full React course. First of all, I explain all of this in much more detail there. So the link to that, remember, is going to be down below the video. So anyway, inside the app component, the first thing I'm going to do is import a bunch of stuff. So down here, we're importing the page components and the layout components. So these three things are the page components. We import home page from the pages folder and then the home page, review details, then the category. So we have all three pages imported and also we import the site header from the components folder, site header. So that's because we're gonna nest these components down here in the template in a second, but also so we can set up the router, we've imported browser router as router and this as just means look refer to the browser router inside this component as router so we can use the router tag instead of having to type out browser router okay and then we also import the route which we're going to use to set up individual routes to the three different pages and then also the switch component which surrounds our routes and make sure that we only ever show one route on the page at one time all right then so let us inside the app first of all nest the site header so site header like so and now that's going to be at the top of every page then after that we'll do our switch tag so let's say switch like so and inside there we can make our different routes so the first one is going to be routes like so and we need a path prop and that's going to be just forward slash. So when the route is just forward slash, I want to render the home page component that we imported right here. So let me copy this now and paste it down here a couple more times. The second route is going to be for the path of forward slash details, forward slash the ID, and there's a colon before the ID to denote this as a route parameter, meaning it can be changeable. It could be one, two, three, four, etc dependent on the review we want to see the details for and then this component is going to be the review details like so spell this correctly review details okay and then finally the path is going to be forward slash category and then forward slash id again which is a route parameter again that's going to be the id of the category we want to show and then down here we want to show the category component now one more thing we need to do is put here exact otherwise this will match everything because any route basically matches this and so for any route we go to potentially we'll just show the home page without this so let me save this now and let me run this by coming down here and typing npm run start this is going to spin up the local development server for our react application and it's opened up on my other screen over here so let's take a look at that all right, and we get an error. So that's because we've actually not used the router. We need to put all of this stuff inside the router itself. So let's do that. I'm going to come down here and say router and take the closing tag and place that at the bottom after the div. So now everything is nested inside the router. So this should work now. If I bring this back over, yep, I can see this is the home page, right? If I go to forward slash details, forward slash three, for example, then we're going to get the review details page. If I go to forward slash category, forward slash three, I should get the category page, which I do. Now, let me just quickly show you what happens if I don't have the exact path. I'm going to save this and then I'm going to bring this back over and notice now even though we're going to this url we still see the home page and that's because this route still matches this right here because this is included in that route that we went to seems a bit odd but we have to put exact right here for this to work correctly all right so one more thing i want to do and that's just to add a little bit of css to this project to make it look a bit better so i'm going to go over to the index.css file i'm going to grab that, delete it, and just paste all of this CSS in. Now, if you want to grab all of this CSS, you can do from my repo. Remember, you just need to select the Lesson 5 branch, and then you need to find the correct file. And incidentally, 
it's right here. So if you want, I'll leave this link down below and you can just go direct to this file and copy it all and paste it into the index.css file. Nothing fancy. All we do is import a Google font, which is called Poppins. And then we set some styles on the body. Margin is zero top and bottom, 30 pixels left and right. And then the font family is Poppins. The background is a very, very light gray. We apply this font weight to the headings right here. Then the app, which is this div right here, we say the font size is 1.2 Ms, give it a bit of margin, width is 100%, max width of 1200 pixels, the padding is 20 pixels all the way around, and the box sizing is border box to incorporate the padding into the width. Okay, and then any anchor tag, text decoration none, we give it this purple color, and a border bottom which is dotted, and the H1, which is the site header title, is a font size of 1.5 Ms, again the purple color, padding bottom and a border bottom as well. So if I was to save this now, we already have this imported into this file right here, do we? Yep, right here. So we should see that in our React app and I can do right here. So this is now our starter React project. In the next lesson, we're gonna to start to fetch the strappy data and show it in the browser.